Okay, this is just going to be a quick overview of the big blue front end and the new configuration utility that will let you set up your games more easily than you've been able to in the past. So I'm just going to walk through this. So this configuration utility will automatically create um, some configuration files for you. You can do your game list, key bindings, and uh, various front end options. So we start off with nothing. I'm just going to add a game list. We'll do one on one fighters as a game list because I figure that, you know, lists can be genres, categories, or whatever. You can browse for snapshots. So I have a one-on-one -on -one fighter thumbnail here. I'm going to add it to the game list. So now I have this game list. You'll notice that it created an XML file here for me. Uh, that it stores all the entries. So we'll double click on this to take a look. We can edit the games in the list. You know, we can delete it or we can, you know, change the snapshots uh, and uh, label and, and save it. So let's put in Street Fighter. And the nice thing about Big Blue is we don't really care about which program you run. You can select any EXE with any command line parameters, it just doesn't matter. So in this case, I'll just go to my MAME folder, pull in MAME, and I'll choose a picture of Street Fighter 2 that I have here. There we go, we got Champion Edition. And you'll notice th that we have a button that's called Test Games. So basically, I can test to see how this is actually going to run in the front end. So here, I click it. I just get, you know, MAME's game list because I didn't specify any command line parameters. And, you know, when you run MAME, you have to pass it the name of the ROM. So I'll put in Street Fighter 2, uh, Champion Edition's ROM name, and uh, now we'll test it. And here we go, we're loading up Street Fighter 2. Okay, so that looks good, so I'll add it. And now I have it in my list. And let's do another one. Let's do Killer Instinct. Once again, we're just going to pull this from MAME. And I have a snapshot of Killer Instinct somewhere in here. And for this, the command line parameter is going to be this for the name of the ROM and I'll add it. And it's really easy to sort things, you know, you can just click here, so now it's sorted in alphabetical order, but you can sort these however you want, it doesn't matter. So you can do some nice things with um, stuff that wouldn't normally appear in alphabetical order, like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, um, you know, appearing with the other Mortal Kombat games. Alright, so we got this. Now let's add Mario Brothers. I'll do Super... Mario Brothers, and this will be the uh, versus version. And I'll find a snapshot. Okay, I'm gonna copy this ROM name. Okay, okay. So you notice that we have Mario Brothers in here, but it's not a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, so that doesn't really work. I'm going to close this out, get rid of this, I'm going to add a new game list, we'll do a platformers, and I'll choose, I think I have a thumb, yeah, I have a, thumb, a thumbnail for platformers, and I'll add that game list. So now I have platformers. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go back into my one-on-one -on -one fighting games, I'm going to select Super Mario Brothers, the one that I added, and now you can see that I can move a game to a different list. So I'm going to move this guy, and uh, I can see that Platformers is one of the places I can move it to. So boom, it's gone. Now we just have Killer Instinct and Street Fighter. And if I go back into my Platformers list, 
now Super Mario Brothers is in there. So now I have two different game lists, you know, with some games, and that should be enough for us to go in here and um, actually run Big Blue. So you can see here that I have my game list with the thumbnails that I added for each category. And I have Mario Brothers, my platformers, and I have 101 Fighters here. So that's pretty handy. I can do some other stuff in the configuration list, though, too. Um, I can rotate the screen for vertically oriented monitors. So if I do that and go back into Big Blue, kaboom, there it is. It's um, vertically oriented. Of course, you know, the images are stretched because Big Blue's snapshot area actually uh, changes to 3 4 aspect ratio so that you can have snapshots of vertically oriented games without stretching them. So we would have to get, you know, some real stuff in there. So, just to show you how that would work, let's do vertical shoot 'em ups And, I don't know, I'll just put in a picture of 1942 or something for the snapshot. Or 1943. Okay, so now I have vertical shoot 'em ups I'll add a game. Um, let's just do... Yeah, that, that'll, that'll be good. And because I think I have a snapshot of this one. There we go. So you can see this thing is uh, vertically oriented. So that should look a little bit better. Um, okay, so we got one game in the vertical shoot 'em ups. Get out of here. Run big blue. So now if I go to Vertical Shoot 'em Up, see I selected 1943 as a thumbnail, and now I have this really nicely formatted vertical image for the vertical game. So that's good. I'm going to change this guy back, though, to get rid of the rotation. I can also you know, change the duration that the, will pass before the screensaver turns on. I can enable music. I can turn on stretching. I can letterbox the front end for... Uh, four or three screens if I don't want it to display widescreen. I can uh, turn off and on the snapshot flicker effect. And I can also choose a default game list here. So um, this is an example. Let's just say I want platformers to be the you know default game list. Save this guy, load it up. And now the front end is going to boot directly into my platformers list. So I can just go straight to this. So basically, the game lists are optional. If you just want to have a simple list, just you know, one list with games in it, you can do that. But if you want to have multiple ones, you can do that too. And you can always navigate back. You know, once you're here, so there's a back button which basically will take you back to the menu, and then you can select you know those other things. Okay, so. Another option that we have here, it's kind of interesting, is. Uh, Fighter 2 theme. So typically, well not really typically, but if, a, if I have a second player join the game in Big Blue, you know, so player 1 and player 2 can fight each other to determine who controls the game selection, fight. you'll notice that in the background, you know, we have the Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition logo. But, Ow. if I um, change that setting, yeah, so if I change the setting, I can change that theme. So you notice we kind of have the Champion Edition theme. Well, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to change it to the World Warrior theme because I kind of like the way World Warrior looks there. So now, when Player 2 joins the game, you notice that I have the veiny versus black background. It looks like World Warrior. And I also have the Fight. classic, you know, red Street Fighter look. Uh, logo, you know, from World Warrior. And so I also have hyper fighting in there. Ow. So I'll get out of there. And then we can just uh, change this guy back. And we have this option to allow game list navigation. This is if you just want to have a single list and you want to even disable the ability to go back into the other game lists. You can do that too. Uh, we can also do key bindings. You know, you can change all of the 
bindings for the keys here. So now basically you can set up Big Blue without uh, using any XML file, editing any XML file. Things pretty powerful. You know, you can add lists, you can res you know resort them. You know, here like I want vertical shoot 'em ups to be you know first. So I change that. Now when I launch the front end, um, you it, see it's the first one in the game list, and um, I can I can go back in here and. I can set you know vertical shoot 'em ups to be the default uh, game list that's loaded, or I can do platformers, and now platformers is there. So you know pretty much whatever you want to do now, you can do it through this, and uh, it should be a lot easier to maintain your game list and just kind of you know get down to business and add the things you want to add and play the games you want to play.